Got him! <laughs> Catching piglet speed run. Let's go. Skim the bed, man. I don't even know what to do at this point. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not that hard to catch a kangaroo. This man just farted twice while hugging me. Look at these full. Good morning, everybody. Somehow Petunia escaped and is now eating grass in my yard. That is not a good sign at all. But this is day two of the Texas freeze. Let's go check on the animals. How did you get out here, Petunia? As you can see, I got tons of food for them yesterday. Okay, it's a little concerning that Petunia got out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to check on them. Okay, my suspicions are confirmed. They opened it up, but I don't know when they did it. It's probably because I didn't have enough food in here. So let's check and see which animals died last night. And I'm really glad I separated these guys so they had to stay in here where it's nice and warm. Weep. Well, the cappies are healthy and happy and this was the coldest night, so I think they're gonna do well here. I wonder why this is the only Rhea that stayed. Right now I'm giving the cappies guinea pig food because this is fortified with vitamin C. The wall these are just going to get the baby's food, which I have right here. Okay, thankfully it's a little bit warmer today. I'm going to go ahead and leave this little guy in here with all this food. And now I need to herd all these other chicks back. All the ducks are doing well, and the water isn't as frozen as it was yesterday. Good morning, soldier boy. How's about you go back in that barn? For now, I can let these guys be out here, but I am going to need to bring them back inside before tonight. Chestnuts alive. And James Charles just got stuck over here like Remington did yesterday. Oh, sweet wampum. Look at these folds. Oh. Look at this perfect creature. Okay, Kevin seems to be alive and happy. I stepped on this spike. Take a look at this, you guys. This went right in to my foot. Mmm, that's nice. That went right into my foot. But Karen and Kevin are alive and well. They still have tons of food. Looks like their water is thawed up too. How did James Charles just get stuck in this corner like this? Come on, son. No, no, you can't jump over that. Let's go. Come on, get on out of here, boy. You gotta walk. No. Man, emus are dumb creatures. Okay, no, 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 no. Just, oh, uh, oh, come on. You were almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why, but for some reason, the goats like to headbutt Petunia. Rest in peace, Nugget. Oh, she's grazing. Look, she's eating all the little leaves on the ground and the clovers. Leaves from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the fall. The bees are still dormant. I hope they didn't die. Watch this. Look, he just likes to... Come on, Petunia, there's food over there. No, don't go back behind the greenhouse. Come on. She just wants to graze, but we can't have her in here. Let's go, Petunia. There we go. Perfect. Petunia just fell through the ice, but she's okay. This big guy is still very frozen. I think it's actually a little bit more frozen than it was yesterday. But look at that water bug that's just frozen right there. There ain't nothing quite like getting followed by some goats when you got a staff. These things follow me everywhere. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check on the ounces. Oh, it is nice and warm. I'm in here right now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and unplug. Hey, get out of here. With the heater, it's 70 degrees in ounce topia, so these guys are just fine. Look how these little guys just follow me everywhere. Now these guys are in here bothering Homelander. Stop. It's okay, buddy. One more night of this, and then you're free. Look at the baby just sitting there with Technoblade. Look how happy these two are. Aw. Two best friends. This man already in the mood for fighting again. Look at my beautiful son. Well, Chestnut just jumped right in the water. Literally just jumped right in there doesn't make much sense at all see look this is what they're doing you guys they're so stupid they're just walking on the ice this is so dangerous i don't even know what to do at this point other than just hope that he makes it across this is literally terrifying for me i need to get them out of here asap get out can't just jump on the ice and grab them you see look at that okay you know what i'm gonna just grab this is way too dangerous for them okay i've got them all kind of locked in here now once they come back here i'm gonna shoo them in that direction i can't believe that little guy just walked across that whole thing of ice hey, come on i'm just gonna use this little staff here look how they just drink out of there just scoop it up into the mouth okay five out of six ain't too bad and here comes chestnut get in there yeah now these little ducks can stand on the ice all they want and i don't care but if the other guys do they're definitely gonna just break a leg or something but this is probably the first time these guys have ever just walked on ice for a couple days in a row this is also why it's so hard for them to get away from predators because that can happen and then a raccoon can just come out and eat them but now all the rat tights are safe and sound the baby's here still one more night in the barn i know you can handle that it's 36 Six degrees right now it's not that bad but it's gonna go down to 20 again tonight with 13 with the wind chill and i just don't want this boy to be out there all by himself at night especially when he comes up to me and gives me a little hug like this and says papa 
I love you. This man just farted twice while hugging me. Baby, it's your turn. Time to get you into that barn, boy. Don't make me grab you again like yesterday. Dang it, the Rhea got out. See, this is what I mean, you guys. It's so hard to do this. When it's just one person, this is one of the hardest things. See, no, oh, now he's not going to be able to go back in there. Look, go, go. Go, 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 go. Come on, you little dingus, get back in there. Okay, now for the baby's own safety, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him like I did a couple days ago. It's gonna be easy. Okay, son, come on. Mm. Oh, there we go. Walk him gently and slowly back. Oh, a little poop on my hand there. Tail is so muscular, don't mind if I do. If you've been working out, you're so strong and handsome. See guys, it's not that hard to catch a kangaroo. You just need to grab its tail. Oh, he's getting a lot stronger now, but so am I. <laughs> okay, now that I opened up this gate, I can just go ahead and walk him up in here and then I'll angle him this way and out he goes. See, he doesn't even care. He knows at this point. I'm gonna stay in this area now. Then I just close this up like this and I lock it like this. Duck moment. Come on, Technoblade. Time to stop being cringe. Get in there. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to just catch this little man with the net. I saw a little bit of blood on this goat's tail for a second. I started to get concerned and then I realized it's just from her period. Little queen here hasn't had a period in a long time though, has she? They cut your ovaries out whenever you ran away for 21 days straight. You remember that queen? Do you remember when you ran away for 21 days straight and then they had to cut your ovaries out? Cringe, ah, uh, ah, uh, dog. My daughter. All right, now let's catch a pig. Well, 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 if it isn't Technoblade peacefully sleeping in the sun. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> because it's Christmas, I love you guys. I'm gonna try and catch this catch on camera. That's right, we're gonna be catching Technoblade on camera, one hand, catching Piglet speed run. Let's go. This is veteran difficulty. I have one hand. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Let him down, let him down. Sorry about that, Petunia. I love how he just immediately shuts up and starts eating. Duck moment. Okay, that only took a literal hour to complete. Wow, it is significantly warmer in this barn than it is right outside. And I see Gort and Quandale. Look how they just hang out right under their heat lamp. I'm gonna do something that should have been done a long time ago. <laughs> and that's crack up the ice so these little dinguses can drink. This old man was just pecking at this ice for like 10 minutes and he didn't get anything. Luckily for them, old Uncle Ben's been lifting. <laughs> we'll do a time lapse. Okay, now that I broke this up, these guys can all drink. Look at how they're all coming over now. Look how thick this is. Oh, look, they still can't get through. Oh, he's trying to eat that ice cube. Okay, I'm just going to make a big pile of this over here. Man, this is really killing my hands. I might need to get a shovel to do the rest of this. Back in old Uncle Ben's day, people used to pay good money for big chunks of ice like this. Look at this. See, he's interested in it even. Mmm, don't mind if I do, he says. Okay, I think that's good for now at least. That's a lot of ice that I pulled out of there. Pobbers is the only creature that's obediently in here. He made his own little nest over here. Good evening, everybody. All of this ice is still here on the ground, and all these animals are still outside for some reason. Sure doesn't make much sense why they would all be out here, but they are. Especially when there's a perfectly warm barn in there. Oh, how strong you are, young man. Technoblade and Petunia are the only only animals that are smart enough to stay in here during the cold. And the cappies are not directly under the heat lamp, so they're not dying of cold right now. But they are huddled together like this in this little nest of hay. The wallabies seem to be comfortable as well. Why are these wallabies so cringe? I try to befriend them, but they're just so... Oh my goodness! I just want to be friends with these cute little baby to babies. But now this little area is a lot more well lit, and I can spend a lot more time with them. Huh. Welcome back from the army tank! I'm gonna be, oh, we're vlog I'm vlogging here. I'm vlogging. I'm vlog yeah. How's about you get in this tank, get in this ice bath? Da baby, I wanna shake your hand. Get over here and shake Tank's hand. He's serving in the armed forces. Okay, children, come on, go on inside. It's going down to 20 degrees tonight. Look how precious soldier boy is at night. Shake my hand, sir. Shake, 
Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Come on, it's cold. These guys are just not scared of me at all anymore. Come on, chill. Don't make me pick you guys up. I'm gonna sit on you. Come on. Come on, chestnut. It's working. Wow. Okay, that's three out of five. I did it all by myself. Three out of five. Yeah, he did all by one more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. It's been said many times, many <laughs> ways. Merry Christmas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Thank you, Tank. Okay, everyone. Happy Christmas Eve. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to catch a kangaroo again. Oh, shake your hand. Got him. Got him. Oh, it's not that hard. Like I said, you just gotta get the tail, kid. Oh, Ben's not strong. Oh, hi, Ben. <laughs> I'm farming Ben. This is the last night that these guys are gonna need to be in here. So, Poggers is my most precious, adorable child, and he loves all animals. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up and put him in here with the wallaby. Look how perfect this creature is. Hopefully, by putting Pogger in here, he can train these wallabies to not be so cringe. Poggers just got straight to eating their poop right here. Well, well, the baby, what do you think about being stuck in here all night? Like he's looking at the wallabies. He says, wait, those are just little me's. The baby says, I want to meet the small versions of me. Poggers just plumb doesn't know what to do in here with these creatures. What's the point of having insulation if the wallabies can't kick holes in it? The baby says, Papa, I would like to become friends with these two small versions of me. Can I please meet them? Look, he's pointing. Thirsty little creature. How does he drink? Does he just... Oh, look at his little tongue. Oh. Wow. Tank's over there talking to my wife about Joe Byron. I see a pig. Oh, look at this perfect little creature. I love this thing so much. Good night, soldier boy, my son. Good night, Poggers, my adorable baby boy. The goats are sleeping in the bus tonight with Queen. It's nice and warm in here. And I'm gonna plug in this heater and keep Big Ounce in here with his wife so they can stay warm. They're in here somewhere. Oh my goodness, they're so precious. Okay, I'll put you guys back in there. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Love you, appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And we'll see you in the next Oh, I almost forgot to tell them. Just not roasting on an open fire.